Right well, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Today I'm going to be reviewing the BY M1000 Large Diaphragm Condenser Microphone from Boyer. If you do enjoy the review and find it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Shoots me up the old YouTube algorithm. Leave me a comment. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. So let's have a look at the specs on this and then I'll open it up. So it's a gold sputtered diaphragm. Not sure if that's an incorrect spelling or what that means, if you know. Comment below, let me know what a gold sputtered diaphragm is. Broadcast quality condenser microphone, so one of their flagship microphones. Cardioid, omnidirectional and bi-directional polar pattern. So it's got multiple switchable polar patterns, which is nice. So you can switch between different polar patterns, which is good if you're recording other instruments apart from your vocal. Wide frequency range, 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So full frequency range spectrum if you're looking to record other instruments. Ultra low noise, so we'll check that out when I do the mic test. Off axis rejection for clean recordings. So depending on which polar pattern you've got selected, it should reject audio from all other directions. And it's also got a minus 10 dB pad on it, which is nice. So if you're recording louder instruments like drums, stick the pad on and it will take a bit of the gain off. And it's got a low cut filter switch. So if you want to filter out any of the low end rumble and noise, you can switch that on and it will get rid of all the low end nastiness. And in the box, you also get a three meter XLR cable. Let's open the box and see what we get inside. Right, so we get some nice padding, which is always good. Shows that the mic's been protected. Instruction manual. There were also some stickers in here. Now, I'll be honest, I have already opened this box just to see what's inside, and I have taken the XLR cable out already. So it's a three meter XLR cable, so pretty good length. 10 foot, uh, feels quite well made, and we'll be using this as well, so we can check that it's all working tickety-boo. All right, and then we've got the actual microphone itself. So, let's take this out of the box. Get rid of the box. Also in the box, we've got some spare elastic for the shock mount. So yeah, it comes out of the box. It's all already put together. So it's a really nice looking microphone, really nice professional looking mic. It's already got the pop filter attached. The shock mount is all metallic. There's some plastic on it, but it feels really well made. Yeah, just a really nice looking microphone. So let's just take the microphone out. Okay, so the microphone itself, it's all metal housing. It's really nicely made, it feels really robust. So we've got different polar patterns on the front, we've got three different polar patterns, and I'll go through all those when we do the actual sound test. We've also got the pad, just switch that on and it will take minus 10 dB off the gain. And we've also got the low cut filter on the other side. So we just switch that and we switch to our low cut filter so that filters out any of the low end nastiness. So let's plug it in and have a listen. Okay, so now you're listening to the soothing tones of the Boyer BY M1000. Uh, got a really nice rich tone. Now it might sound a little bit weird. It's because there's a little bit of a delay in my headphones. So if I do, I hope it doesn't ruin the review for you. I'm sure it won't. So with these types of microphone, you will want to be sitting fairly close to the microphone. You won't want to be sitting back here, but if you do, you can hear it introduces a lot of oh, squeak. If you do, it introduces a lot of the room, so that's no good. So you will need to sit fairly close to the microphone. That's what these sort of microphones are designed for podcasts, vlogging, that sort of things. And if you're recording instruments with them, which you can, obviously the room isn't so much of an issue. But with vocal recording, vocal audio, you want to be pretty close to the microphone. But it's got this nice built-in pop shield, so that's good. So you don't have to worry about pops and clicks because that's built in for you. If you wanted to, you can flip that pop shield down as such. I don't know why you would really want to do that. It's quite a nice pop shield. It's fairly inconspicuous. So I would keep that there. But we'll flip it down for now because then I can show you the functions on the mic. So first of all, we've got our pad. So if I flip the pad on, then you can hear that the audio has gone down by 10 dB in volume. I'll flip that back on. Okay, and the volume's back to normal. 
We've also got a low cut. It is actually on at the moment. But I'll flip it off. And now the low cut's off and it's picking up everything. Now there's not much low end in here, so it's not going to make much of a difference. So I'll flip it back on. But it does make some difference. Like I can hear it has made a difference just in here. So it's always nice to have that function. Now you can always do that in post, but if you've got it built into the microphone, it's always good to get the best sound at source. So that's a nice function to have. And now we've got our polar patterns. So at the moment, I've got the cardioid polar pattern selected. So it's just picking up audio from the front. Let's just put the pop shield back up. So it's just picking up audio from the front. If I go around here, then it's not really picking anything up from the back. Now it's picking up reflections and all that sort of thing, but it's not actually picking any direct audio up from the back, just the front. So then let's just flip it to bi-directional. Bi-directional, clue is in the title, picks up audio from the front, and it'll also pick up audio from the back. So front and back, the same. So it should pick up audio the same from the front and back. And the final polar pattern is omnidirectional. So it just picks up audio from everywhere. So no matter where you talk into the microphone, you will hear the audio pretty much the same. Okay, I'll just flick it back to the cardioid pattern. So having the option for different polar patterns is really good if you're recording instruments. Some instruments are recorded better with different polar patterns. You can get different results. So always good options to have on a decent condenser microphone. So it's nice to see on this one, if you're recording vocals or podcasts, you'll leave it on the cardioid pattern, but it is nice to have the other options. Price wise, this microphone is retailing in the UK at just over hundred pounds. Now that's a pretty crazy price for a microphone of this quality. The audio sounds great. It's got all the different polar patterns. It's got the pad, it's got the low cut. It's really well made. It's all metal design. Looks great. It's got the built in pop shield. The shock mount's really well made. It's really robust, it's metal. That sort of price for this sort of microphone is, is really good. So if you're looking for a decent large diaphragm condenser microphone, I would definitely check this out. I'm really impressed. Now you don't get the arm with it, you just get the microphone, but that's kind of expected for this sort of microphone for that sort of price. It's not a big ear, you can pick up a microphone stand for next to nothing. So that'd be your least of your worries. I can see this being one of my go-to mics for when I do my YouTube vlogs, or even if I was recording vocals for a band or something like that. It's a great microphone. Can't really fault it, to be honest. Now, we'll just whack up the old gain on the audio interface to see what the noise is like. That's all the way up. Even that wasn't a concern you're probably never gonna have it louder than i've got it now anyway but if you were the noise wasn't horrendous and then unless you're paying thousands of pounds for a microphone you're gonna get a little bit of noise so thanks boyer for sending me the by m1000 to review in conclusion i really like it i like the build like the audio quality and for that price can't really go wrong i hope you've enjoyed this found it useful if you have please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below shoots me up the old youtube algorithm if you're not already please do consider subscribing to the channel I'm releasing content on a monday and thursday audio and visual gear reviews editing tutorials drone tutorials got loads of little playlists set up on my channel to make it easy to navigate really starting to build a nice community now subscribers are going up which is nice i'm really pleased with how it's all going if you are already subscribed appreciate you guys Make sure that your notifications are turned on so I can let you know when new content is released. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.